Greetings, YouTube. Pardon the fans, but I'm enjoying the breeze. Um, normally, when you see me on camera, I am wearing these, which are my computer glasses. Now, I wear bifocals under normal circumstances, but bifocals actually have three zones. They have the section at the top for seeing in the distance. They have the section at the bottom for reading. But there is also a small transition zone. And on normal bifocals, that's very narrow band, so you can just, on the no line, so you just get from the top to the bottom. But when you're on a computer, I am neither far away, nor am I up close. So these glasses actually have that, that little thin transition zone is one half of the glass in the center. So the top quarter is for distance, and the bottom quarter is for reading, but the half in the middle is for medium range, my computer. These have made all the difference in the world for me when it comes to looking at my computer. Because before I was wearing bifocals, I'm doing this. I'm dancing on that. Oh, it was horrible. I had such eye strain. These make everything different. But they're not what I wear when I'm not at the computer. Only time I wear these, it's a hammer right here at my desk, or I'm using my Chromebook um, in some other room in the house. I use them for that for, for the same reason. It's not close and it's not far. It is a medium distance. Now, what I normally wear on the street are these. These are my normal glasses. Um, uh, you get no rim on the bottom. They're light. I like the way they look. And even just looking at my looking at a screen with these glasses on right now, it's blurry because again, they're not my computer glasses. It drives me nuts. When I'm at work, I wear this type of glasses. This is actually my old prescription. This is going to be horrible. Uh, I keep my old prescription here in the shop, and my normal prescription is in my car glove box. So I swap them out when I get to work because um, I don't like to. I don't want to forget I had them on and take them in, in the house and leave them. I keep them in the car. But this is the kind I wear at work. They've got side shields. Uh, these are eight Z87 rated safety glasses. So the no line bifocals, side side things, very sturdy. This type of glasses have saved my eyesight more than once. But while they're great at work, working in a factory, they don't work in a shop. Because I cut things with an angle grinder. And when I'm using the angle grinder, there are thousands of sparks going everywhere. Um, not just the metal, but the wheels and flaps I'm using are abrading. So you've got all kinds of things flying at you. And normally what I would do is I would wear my street glasses like this. And then I would use a pair of goggles. Now these, these are old school. I don't even know where I got these from. I have no clue. But I've had them for a dog's age. And what I would normally do is I'd put them on like this. And then I would go ahead and I would do my grinding thing. But the seal isn't perfect. It's close. but And the holes are pretty profuse around the edges. For There's lots of these little holes. See, lots of little holes to get air in there. I understand why they do that. But between the combination of those little holes and the gaps, I have gotten crap in my eyes even while wearing these. Thankfully, because it's having to kind of do a acrobatic bank shot to get into my eye. They're not hot when they get there, so I don't have to worry about getting my burn, but I still get grit in my eyes. It's really annoying. Well, recently, I saw Adam Savage talk about a pair of goggles, and here they are. Well, this is the bag I put them in. I believe this was a, a makeup bag. I bought it for a dollar at a thrift shop. But the purpose of the bag is to keep my safety glasses, which I just got yesterday, nice and safe. Now these are DeWalt's. Um, I am not a fan of DeWalt knives or multi-tools um, and I am indifferent to their power tools but Adam said these were good so I thought I'd give them a try. And right off the bat you can see that they're they're very nice and clear. They conform to your head. Um, they have vents but the vents are in here. So the vents go this way and down. So things coming this way, they pretty much can't. There's a seal on this. They can't get into your eyes. It's just the probability is so damn low, I'm not worried about it. So put them on. Takes a little bit of... There we go. And I want to make sure that it's flat. And I put it just above my glass like that because um, I want to make sure that they're not on top of my ears because I wear headphones when I'm in the basement. So these flappy things are usually held against my head because I'm wearing ear protection when I'm grinding. Um, so really nice view. Peripheral vision goes out pretty much as far as my peripheral vision goes. So that's really nice. I mean, 
admittedly, when I'm grinding, my peripheral vision isn't as important as looking right in front of me. Um, but they work beautifully. They're nice and clear. Um, they're very comfortable. The seal is nice and solid. Um, it is rubber, but I don't, I mean, I'm not jogging in these things. So I'm not, and I don't work outside. I work in my basement. So the temperature variations are not that great. In the summertime, in the basement, it's much cooler than it is outside. So, yeah, um, I'm happy with this overall as far as the heat is concerned. They're comfortable. They don't go anywhere. And they are light. Not I mean, quite as light as these, but because they can form better and they're uh, a better seal and everything, they, 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 they fit better, the weight difference, it, they, they, I don't notice them really at all. Um, it's kind of like people always think that, you know, that wearing plate armor is working cumbersome. No one is. When you're wearing a piece of form-fitting equipment that's properly set to you, it moves with you, and the bulk and the weight isn't as much of an issue. It's when you are not properly fitted or you have a large lump on your back that has not been properly balanced, that's when you really feel it. If you're wearing a pack and pack has not properly been arranged with the heaviest items on the in, against your back and the lighter items that go out. Um, yeah, I know actually had a fillet pack. Um, so yeah, so I'm really happy with these goggles. Um, so I would definitely, if you're looking for goggles, go check out DeWalt's selection of goggles. Funny thing is, well, I looked these up initially, they were 10 bucks, And I waited like, I don't know, I think I waited like three or four days to go before I actually ordered them. And they were up to 13 Obviously, Adam's video had something to do with that. I didn't care. I bought them anyway because they're safety, and I need safety goggles that were better than this one, and I will now donate these. Maybe some kid can use them, or some someone will get a blast from the past and remember being in their high school chemistry class, because these may have come from my high school. Seriously, these may have come from my high school. I'm not sure where these came from. Um, but they're, they're, not, they're not like Z87 rated by any stretch of the imagination. No, no, are they? Holy crap, they are a Z87 rated. Look at that. They, uh, yeah, no, these are these are much more rigid, much safer. Maybe the Z87 rating changed over time, because this would not pass muster now, I don't think. Wow, no. Yeah, no. These are not as the same quality as these. So, go check out the DeWalt goggles. Uh, you will not be disappointed. Adam Savage is a smart dude.